Hi guys, it's Shreya and welcome or welcome back to my channel Beauty and the Code. Uh, so off lately, मुझे आप में से बहुत लोगों ने Instagram पे मैसेज किया saying that you are looking for some good dupe houses in India. And I was just scrolling through Instagram, you know, to find out some good options for you guys because I've already like reviewed. Um, perfumesteel.com i have done a review on alharmainperfumes.in which is like a hyderabad based uh, shop plus website plus i have done some uh, you know zara uh, dupe perfume dupes available uh, but uh, you guys wanted me to explore some more instagram stores that are available and i was just scrolling through looking for some good options and that's when i came across platinum perfumes and um, i saw some of the perfumes that the post that they had put out there and it intrigued me i thought ki you know this could be a good alternative of a very high high end perfumes that we get in india for ridiculous prices so what i did was i contacted them uh, so they don't have a website or something but they do have like a whatsapp number and you can dm and just make your order there uh, so i contacted them and i ordered three perfumes from them uh, one is giorgio armani sea passion second one was carolina herrera good girl and the third one is a versace's a uh, crystal noir now i ordered these three because these three are the ones that you guys were asking me the review for that do you have alternative for this one do you have alternative for this one so i you know just pen down everything and this is exactly what you guys asked for so i ordered these for you guys to test and try and bring out this video for you guys so let's begin that was a very long intro i'm sorry about it let's just jump into it before we do so make sure that you have subscribed to my channel hit the bell notification and you follow me on instagram and now let's get started so this is how the perfume bottle looks like it's an 80 ml bottle very sophisticated a simple rectangular bottle with their logo behind the cap is nice and plastic but it is silver in color and they have the ingredients list right here and they have the branding details here the perfume name here and this is not an eau de parfum this is extract de parfum extract de parfum is one higher concentration to eau de parfum so you are going to get a very nice concentrated juice in here which will be long lasting i will definitely talk about the projection longevity everything for each perfume as we go the first one that i'll talk about is carolina herrera good girls dupe now uh, all the bottles are like this shape only so i'm not going to go over with the packaging details again and again we'll jump into the variant so now if you know carolina herrera good girl that's a good optimizer yes this perfume has been there in the perfume industry since 2016 and oh my god for good reasons it is a famous it is super strong super projective um you know the fragrance is everything that you need like it is nutty it's almondy it has uh, the mysteriousness of cacao uh, vanilla tonka bean it has this roasted feel of tonka bean it is dominating white florals it has orange blossom tube rose jasmine jasmine sambac orris rose and it has so many base notes like they have literally not left everything it has woody notes it has praline it has sweetness vanilla everything that you could think of is there in carolina herrera it's a very innovative addictive kind of a fragrance and this one is like a good interpretation of that i can say that this is almost around 90% closer to carolina herrera and this has good performance you guys when i put this on this literally lasts 8 hours on me and i put around 7 to 8 sprays so consider one hour as one spray and then you can like decide on how uh, potent you want the fragrance to be and go ham with it now this is the kind of fragrance which is super seductive it is sexy it's a floral oriental kind of a fragrance warm spicy as well so if that is down if that is something you like then definitely you can give this one a try carolina herrera in india is almost for like 8000 or so you can sometimes get it on 10% off but trust me the dna is known now and it is not something that is super 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 unique and which will which will stand out so i think starting your journey with a good dupe with a good knock off is a very good option to go for i absolutely loved this one the projection is good it projects it leaves a trail it goes it creates a good scent bubble around me and it has a good siage like it does eventually fill the room not immediately but when you enter it's noticeable and you know the projection is nice like it 
kind of projects every uh, like 30 minutes 40 minutes it will project and it will keep reminding you that it's there and the longevity is around eight hours with eight sprays so overall i feel that this one is a good dupe to try i love the quality of this and also i like how simple the packaging is very simple bottle you can easily carry this in your purse overall i think the rating is nine out of ten so the next perfume that i picked up is called as a uh, sea passion this is giorgio armani sea passion flanker and this one is again this is an extract they perform so it's very concentrated and very loud and this perfume you guys like after i smelled this one i was like i definitely definitely love the dna of this one and again the same reason this has a pear note in it like i have fallen in love with pear based perfumes they have a different vibe to it like that toasted pear note no it's just it sits so beautifully on my skin i love the pear note overall so this one is a literally like a tropical paradise in a bottle it opens up with very juicy fruitiness like it is literally like uh, you know a cocktail a mocktail uh, sitting inside this it's beautiful it's fruity it's juicy um it's kind of woody and uh are rosy it's just so feminine so beautiful so delicate so tropical such a vacation vibe going on with this perfume i just want to read out the notes for this perfume they are pear black currant pepper and grapefruit middle note has pineapple rose jasmine heliotrope vanilla cedar amber wood and patchouli this one is fruity it's juicy it's floral um it's very woody it's very powdery the heliotrope in this is definitely adding to that powderiness and it is such an intoxicating of fragrance so bubbly so inviting so lifted um you know it's it's like so elevated uh, i love the dna it's a happy perfume it's a vacation perfume it's a holiday perfume for me and i love wearing these perfumes when i'm wearing pastels when it's summertime when i'm going on a vacation and all of that sort it's a very happy bubbly kind of a fragrance and definitely is like a mood changer uh, you know it is the kind of fragrance that gives you a feel good factor and uh, this is everything it's so sweet and so beautiful uh, it does not have that you know juvenile factor just because i'm saying that it is very fruity and juicy people will be like okay it's immature and it's like for teenagers it's it's not that of course teenagers can wear this one but there is a certain hint of uh, you know uh, maturity in this like it's like a woman who uh, who is independent she earns she pays her own bills she is going on a vacation and she is having the time of her life this is that in a bottle i love this one like this is a 10 out of 10 for me the longevity is almost 9 hours on me and this just sticks onto my skin like something to do with the ingredients in here this sticks to my skin and it goes for hours and hours it gives a beautiful wisp throughout the day a very strong scent bubble around me and overall the longevity is 9 hours for around 8 to 9 sprays uh it has a good projection um so you know i was just passing by a colleague and she was like you know what you are smelling like so fresh and so uplifted like i want to be around you and talk to you whole day just because you're smelling that good and it was such a cute compliment and i was like okay this one is definitely like a compliment getter you can see like i'm smiling from ear to ear <laughs> for this fragrance it's just beautiful i love this one and um, of course the rating is like 10 out of 10 for me so the last perfume that i want to talk about is versace's crystal noir versace crystal noir has been in the market from 2004 it's a very 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 famous perfume and for good reasons it is a very beautiful warm spicy sensual inviting sexy perfume out there and it definitely is a uh, kind of like not a safe blind buy but it is something that has uh, created a different vibe for itself because it is a super sensual fragrance perfect for date nights kind of a fragrance now i will just give you the break breakdown of the notes for the versace crystal noir and then i will compare it with this one so it opens up with pepper ginger cardamom a very spicy opening out there it has coconut gardenia orange blossom peony uh, light florals with coconut is just 
it's just a different vibe like spicy coconut just imagine how the fragrance is it has creaminess of sandalwood musk and amber like overall a very beautiful spicy warm fragrance now when i compared this one to the original i saw a subtle differences so i'm not going to say that this one is like a 90 percent dupe of it i find this to be around a 60 to 70 percent dupe of the original I'll tell you the main difference between the two. This is also uh, kind of like a warm fragrance, but it lacks the spiciness in it. It's more floral and it has a distinct a soapiness to it. Uh, so, which I don't find in the original Crystal Noir. Uh, that is the reason that I want to not actually compare this to the original one, but this in itself is like a different kind of a fragrance. So, I don't really find this to be like a good, good dupe uh, for the original one, but this in itself has a different vibe to it. I find this to be quite a soapy, to be good, to be worn on everyday basis. This has a very distinct floralness going on to it. I don't see a, too much of a coconut vibe in this, not too, uh, you know, spicy vibe in it. So in itself, this perfume is good, but I wouldn't say it is like a good dupe for Versace Crystal Noir. So with this kind of a fragrance, when the fragrance is slightly like a feminine soapy fragrance, uh, the performance on me is good. I don't know, soapy and powdery fragrances really sit well with my skin chemistry and they are just one of the most long-lasting perfumes on me instead of the Gourmand fragrances. I just don't know why it is that way because I'm a sucker for Gourmand fragrances but uh, it is what it is. So this fragrance again gives me a good longevity of around 8 hours. These are all extracted perfumes so the performance is there with these perfumes. You can definitely control the number of sprays. This is good for everyday basis, like everyday chores, um, going to office, very safe to be worn to office and like a very everyday uh, wear, uh, be it any season, like daytime. It's a good daytime wear fragrance. My rating for this one is around 6 out of 10. So that brings us to the end of the video. I hope that, uh, you know, this uh, platinum perfumes store is helpful for you and the perfume review was helpful for you guys to decide which ones you want to pick. I literally noted down each of the requests. I did the calculation, did the math and I was like, okay, these three are the winners from all the messages. So I ordered this for you guys. I hope that this was helpful. Do let me know in the comment section if you have tried some of their fragrances or this was a new venture for you as well. And this video was informative. That's it for today's video. Please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell notification, follow me on Instagram and I'm going to see you very, very soon in my next video. Bye.